Sampriti Acharya is just starting to get her biking legs back. Less than a year ago, she was in such tremendous pain that a family bike ride was out of the question. Even routine activities seem daunting. Going grocery shopping would make me cringe. Oh no, I have to walk that much, drag that trolley around. That's just too much work. Right after college, the young dietitian began to notice a tingling feeling that radiated down her leg. Gradually, it turned to cramping, then numbness, with pain that was stronger in her leg than in her back. The pain would be like in the back of my right leg, and it would kind of radiate up and down. Oddly enough, the pain seemed to disappear when Sam Pretty was sitting, so she found herself sitting all the time. Two, three years ago, the pain would not go away, and that's when I thought, you know, this is really serious. If you're starting to get numbness in your leg, or if you're getting a weakness where you can't lift up your ankle or your foot's flopping, you should see a doctor as soon as you can. Dr. Alexander Davis is an orthopedic spine surgeon at Sutter Health's Memorial Medical Center. He diagnosed Sam Pretty with a condition called spinal stenosis. Spinal stenosis is a condition where the canal that the nerves travel through gets too small. You can imagine a, a pipe that gets clogged up with corrosion and then the water doesn't flow through very well. It's kind of like that analogy with spinal stenosis. Spinal stenosis is one of the most common back issues that affect women. As we age, ligaments thicken and bone spurs crowd the already tight space. Some women, like Sam Pretty, already have a genetic narrowing of the spinal canal. For her, strength exercises, pain medication, and steroid injections didn't relieve the pain. Laminectomies are one of the more common minimally invasive procedures performed by spine surgeons like Dr. Davis. A surgical treatment is actually what we call anatomical. We're actually making a bigger channel. Removing a small portion of the lamina, or the bony arch on the affected vertebrae, relieves pressure on the nerves. This is one of the situations where people actually do get better and can go back and enjoy their life. Every second. Today, about the only time you'll find Sam Pretty sitting down is when she's doing homework with her son. Otherwise, she's back to her daily activities and pain-free. A few days ago, I was walking with my husband outside and he was like, does this feel exhilarating? You don't have to sit down anymore. <laughs> As you can see, there has been such a big difference, huge difference in my life since the surgery, and it's all because of him. She'll still get back pain from time to time, but that's just because, well, people get back pain. But Sam Pretty's goal now is to keep her spine healthy by following a few simple rules. So really the obvious things, eat right, exercise, and don't smoke. <laughs> I tell people, concentrate on making yourself healthy, and your back pain's gonna go away. And it can really make a huge difference in, in people's lives.